Well, as you can see, we got the farm all 300 tore down quite a ways. I went ahead and took the tires and the, the cast centers off. I didn't do that on camera because it's not that difficult. Should be able to figure it out. Now I think I'm going to try to lighten up the load a little bit. We're going to take off the uh, rear axles. Driving this thing down the road, it had some sort of a bang. It was like a bearing was out. Every time the tire went around, I like, dunk, 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 dunk. So it's in the drivetrain somewhere. I don't believe it's in the transmission. Didn't seem like it. Um, road speed definitely, definitely played a part with how fast it went. Didn't seem like it was engine speed related at all. It was just 100% road speed related. Um, didn't seem to matter what gear it was in. I'm assuming I'm going to find a bad axle bearing or a bad bearing in one of these bull pinion carriers. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can't find that bad bearing. So I put a ratchet strap on the brake to hold the brake on. It'll hopefully hold well enough that I can get the bolt out of the end of the axle that holds the bull, the bull gear on. We shall see. And that was loose. Let me loosen this one while we're here. Hmm. They're both pretty loose. That's probably not a great sign. I don't know what the torque spec is on these, but I guess it's more than the 20 foot pounds that it took to take these loose. Kind of guessing on a balance point. Try to hook it in the center of the weight as much as possible here. And it sounds like I found a problem. We'll take these apart later and find out. For now, we're just gonna get them off. Never a good sign when a bunch of water comes out when you take it off.
side's got the torque amplifier linkage on it and lever. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take all of this stuff off. Clutch linkage, torque amplifier linkage, everything. Make sure we keep the pins with the proper clevises. I don't really care about the cotter pins. We'll put new ones of those in. All this stuff is going to be new or resurfaced or both. Clutch and everything. I'll resurface the flywheel. Depending on how the clutch looks, I'm going to pull that apart. That looks like garbage. I'll put a new one of those in. <coughs> no sense in screwing around with that. Back to the task at hand. Taking the axle. This axle's all messed up. <clears throat> it's like the keyway sheared and it uh, spun on the cast center, or the cast center spun on it rather. Well, I guess I'm going to be in the market for one of those. Not that it hurts the functionality of it. I'm kind of going for nice here. This side's pretty crunchy too. This side might be the knock as well. Wouldn't be a proper tractor party if we didn't use a tractor wrench for something. Pretty easy to take that part. I can just leave this in here for now. I really need to take that off right now. Got ahead of myself. There's not niceness in here. Far up. It's like some, something's come apart in here before and we had a pretty good mess of things. That way they ran it right down to there's nothing left, which is also a really good possibility. And imagine that seal leaking. Who would have thought? Bull pinion is in order. Of 
I was hoping to not find anything like that. But I just did. springs. Well, I got the rest of that brake off, but the battery on the camera died, so didn't get it on film, but now I'm going to take and uh, remove the PTO to get the bull gears out. That was me, dude. Some people shouldn't work on things. Wow, just wow. PT out of the way. I hope I can rotate these bull, bull gears out of the way. Get them out of there. Oh. Barely. Man, those are heavier than you look. Not sure if I'm going to get away with it on this one. We might as well take the pinion carriers out. I think it's the bearing that's holding it on. for setting the backlash on the uh, ring and pinion. Bearing's not terrible, but it's got some side-to-side -side slop, which is bad when you got a gear that relies on no side-to-side -side slop. Well, we might as well try to pop the differential out of that other side before we try taking that other side. Suspected or expected. 
I'm going to take and scratch an L into this one so I know which side's what. See it after it's dirty and clean. Oh yeah, good shape. Good amount of slop in that bearing. That didn't work good. Not terrible, but it's not great. There's the pieces, there's the empty case. That's how you tear the rear differential and bull gears and bull pinions and carriers out of a Farmall 300. Next up we got to do the torque amplifier. That's actually the whole reason this thing's apart because the torque amplifier was and oil all over the place. Either this seal in here or this seal in here. I think it was this one <clears throat> was leaking before. This compartment in the middle is supposed to be dry and you can see, well maybe you can see, I can see in the bottom of that you can see down there there's oil down there. And when oil gets down there, it comes out these drain holes right there and leaks all over the ground. Which is why I had that little container down here. I tried to bail here with it just because I was out of tractors. And this should be a really good tractor for bailing hay, but it didn't work out. I wasn't able to bale hay. I think I made two bales and it started yakking out all over the place. So, apart it comes. <clears throat> it should be a really nice tractor when it's done. Hopefully. That's all for now.